Hello. We need to find the center of this triangle, one of the centers. Let us find the angle bisectors. Now we know from all of our constructions that if I draw twin circles, we're gonna bisect something. So if I wanna bisect this angle right here, we need to draw a circle here and a circle here. They gotta be twins. So let's draw a circle. It, again, doesn't matter how big, they just gotta be twins. Um, now in GeoGebra, I need to put a dot over here where I'm going to put the the other circle. Okay. So need a twin, but here's the problem. We do the same stuff we always did. Yeah. We find the intersection of the circles and we, you know, draw through that. Well, that doesn't look like it's cutting the angle at all. So there must be something with where, ah, look, if I put this in a certain place, it's actually going to go through the angle. Oh, but, the, but so how do we figure out that certain place? It's actually pretty easy. You don't start with these two circles. You start with one circle. We're going to start with one circle up here, and it's going to tell me, put one of the circles there, and amazingly enough, put the other circle there. All right. Now, these two have to be twins. They can be the same size as the first one. They don't have to be. Whatever you want. That first one can be any size. It just has to tell us, it's just telling us where to put the other two. But for right now, we're just going to twin them. No big deal. By doing them the same size, we actually have this dot, the corner, as um, one of the intersection points. So now we need to find the other intersection point and draw our nice little line. That's an angle bisector, three circles. We got to do it three times. Yep. So let's come over here to this right corner. I'm going to change colors. So I got to make one circle, any size, put the dot there. I got to find where it touches the other side of the triangle. Now right there is where I need to put two circles. They have to be twins, they have to overlap. They do not have to twin this big blue one. So I'm gonna make them a different size than that blue one. All right. Now this one's gotta be a twin. So I gotta make it this big and I have to put it right there. Again, why do we cross two circles? Because we want the intersection. They're going to bisect things, and if they're on a line, they're going to be perpendicular. Find the intersection, draw a line. Notice where that line goes through. It goes through the corner. Now, if you don't believe me that this is actually bisecting, I'll show you that at the end. All right, we got to do it again. Yeah, yeah. Um, we got to do it over here now. So I need a circle. One circle to start. Let's change colors. Orange. Doesn't matter how big. And now we need to find where this dot is right here, where that circle's crossing. All right. Now these two dots are where I draw my twins. Again, any size. They just have to cross each other. You could actually literally make it, you know, touch the other side. Well, that's going to just make them all three the same. So whatever you want to do, you know, th there's some, some play here. We can make them big. I'll make this one. These bigger. Hey, let's try that. I made these smaller. Let's make them bigger. All right. So I need to twin that and drop it there. I need to find where those two circles cross. 
Again, having colors to do this is going to be helpful to you. And the reason we found where circles crossed was to draw that line. Look, right there. It's the in center. Yay. Um, all right, so let's just find the in, put the in center. And again, the in center is the where three angle bisectors cross. What's special about the in center? Um, it makes one circle that actually, and this is again the hard one to find. Yeah, a lot of circles here, right? Um, yeah, like a solid circle or something. There we go. Um, that might be a little big. All right, uh, one circle that just is just inside. Uh, what I was going to do, I was going to measure the angles in case you might not believe that it's an angle bisector. And I just got to do this the right order. Um, I got to move that so we can read it. 18.69 degrees. Uh, I think I got to go this way with it. And can you guess what it's going to say? 18.69 degrees. Angle bisectors. Awesome.